VAT is going up. Only VAT on fuel. And even VAT on fuel, your honorable speaker, is not a new thing. We were here in 2018 on this floor. The same mouths today that are vilifying the rise of 8% to 16% advocated for the 8% that exists today from 0%. The same voices, Honorable Speaker, that vilify the housing levy today. And I saw someone on social media, somebody asking, did President William Ruto borrow this from the former Prime Minister? Because in the Azimio manifesto, I'm told the housing levy was part and parcel of that manifesto at 1.5%. Yes. Yes. Therefore, at least on this one thing, our two manifestos between the two competing political coalitions, we were agreed that there was a need for housing in this country. But today you will hear members asking, who asked you for a house? As much as nobody has asked me for a house, every day I walk around my constituency, young men and women asking me for jobs. How the housing agenda is much more beyond houses. It is about the creation of jobs. It is about the creation of wealth. It is about sparring economic development and economic growth in this economy that will be unmatched from the heavy investment that will come out of this housing levy. And I think since we are all agreed on the, the need for this housing levy, and I did hear two members in the morning, lawyers of high esteem, senior, one of them as a senior council honorable speaker, say, you know, the housing is a devolved function under Schedule 4 of the, uh, of, of, of the Constitution. But also forgot to mention that under Article 43 of the Constitution, housing is a fundamental human right that government is required to provide to the people of Kenya. And I, could dare, I, I, I couldn't bear not ask myself as I watched the, uh, the Honorable Tienda Molo in the morning uh, 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 trying to prosecute that case. And ask myself, if we were to argue that way, that we cannot tax Kenyans to provide housing to Kenyans, why are we taxing Kenyans to provide health care? That uh, has a duty to be factual in terms of our standing uh, orders. I think it is not factual for the majority leader to stand here and tell Kenyans about the issue of uh, the devolved functions on, uh, on, 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 on housing, while at the same time I'm raising on the question of they required to be factual. Standing order number 91. You will not intimidate me. You know that I am not capable of being intimidated.